number one. Kwa hivyo namba kitu namba moja. You need to love your body. Unahitaji upende mwili wako. But you need to crucify your flesh. Lakini unahitaji uweze kuweka nyama yako pale msalabani. Amen. Amen. Because sababu once you do that wakati unafanya hivyo it becomes easy for god inakuwa jambo rahisi sana kwa mungu to use you ili akutumie to do the will of god quickly on the earth kufanya mapenzi yake mwenyezi mungu kwa haraka hapa duniani the bible says renew your mind biblia inasema ya kwamba wacha akili zako zikae upya so that you may sense ili uweze kujua for yourself ni kwa ajili yako what is the will of god mapenzi yake mwenyezi mungu good acceptable yanakubalika and perfect will of god yale ambao ni kamilifu kwa mwenyezi mungu amen amen now when people begin that walk wakati watu wanaanzia hiyo safari that is when you get hapo ndipo unapata to where you should go hapo ndipo unaelewa mahali unastahili kwenda and now the understanding that makes you useful na kuelewa kule ambako kuna kufanya ukue wa kutumika to god on the earth kwa mungu hapa duniani is the understanding ni kuelewa that helps you kule ambako kuna kusaidia to renew your mind kufanya akili yako ikae mpya so that when god thinks ni wakati ambao mungu anawaza it can be acceptable in your thinking inaweza kubalika katika mawazo yako and it can be doable na inaweza kuwa kitu cha kufanyika praise the lord amen that is where na hapo ndipo those people that reign in the kingdom of men watu wale ambao wanaishi katika ufalme wa wanadamu those who reign wale ambao wanatawala wale ambao wanatawala they have understood washaelewa that after you get it spiritually ya kwamba maana ya kupata kwa kiroho once you get it spiritually ukipata tu kwa njia ya kiroho you bring it into your mind unakileta katika akili yako so that now your mind can help you produce it on the earth ili akili yako ikusaidie ni kwa ajili ya kukitoa hapa nje duniani Amen. Amen. That is why when the king Nebuchadnezzar, your man of Falme Nebuchadnezzar, had some difficulties reigning in his kingdom or ruling in his kingdom. Alikuwa na matatizo sana ama ngumu ni kwa ajili ya kutawala katika ufalme wake. He sought alijaribu kutafuta eh, suluhisho. Number 1, namba kitu cha kwanza. The wise men alitafuta watu wale ambao ni werefu, wenye akili, wenye akili. wise men wenye akili then he looked for astrologers wanaitwa wasoma nyota wasoma nyota wasoma nyota ni wachawi in fact biblia ya kiswahili inawaita wachawi hebu tuangalie daniel chapter 2 verse 27 Daniel answered Daniel akajibu in the presence of the king and say the secret which the king has demanded cannot the wise men the astrologers the magicians the soothsayers show unto the king Daniel akajibu mbele ya mfalme akasema ile siri iliyouliza uliyouliza mfalme wenye hekima wawezi kufunulia wenye hekima number 1 aha hawawezi kumfunulia mfalme mm-hmm. wala wachawi mm-hmm. wala waganga mm-hmm. wala wanajimu wala waganga wala wanajimu so hawa ndio utumika kwenye utawala any time you Wak- see a kingdom wakati wowote unaona ufalme they are wise men kuna wenye akili ha huh? They are wise men kuna wenye akili. They are astrologers kuna wasoma nyota. Wasoma nyota ni wachawi wa aina katika uchawi kuna vitu nyingi ambavyo ziko na kuna sehemu ya 
ya uchawi ambayo inatumia nyota za watu Do you remember the wise men who came to Jerusalem to Bethlehem yeah to Jerusalem first Una, seeking Jesus you remember unakumbuka wenye akili walikuja Jerusalem kumtafuta Yesu They were wise men walikuwa wenye akili But what were they following lakini walikuwa wanafuata nini A star walikuwa wanafuata nyota They were not Christians hawakuwa wa Kristo They were not Jews hawakuwa They were not believers hawakuwa waumini They were not Israelites hawakuwa wana Israeli They came from the east walikuja kutoka mashariki where they have the understanding ambapo wako na kuelewa of astrology jinsi ya kusoma nyota of star gazing star gazing is part of astrology ah uh, kufanua nyota ni njia moja hapo ya wasoma nyota aha so any kingdom kwa hivyo ufalme wote of men wa wanadamu that does not have god at the center ule ambao hauna mungu it has the devil uko na shetani and so the devil helps the people to rule through number one. kwa hivyo shetani anasaidia watu kutawala kupitia njia wise men watu wenye wakili wise men watu wenye akili but there is the wisdom from above lakini kuna ufahamu kutoka juu and there is the wisdom from beneath na kuna hekima kutoka chini ya there is satanic wisdom kuna hekima ya kishetani and there is godly wisdom na kuna hekima ya kutoka kwa Mungu so in satanic wisdom kwa hivyo katika hekima ya kishetani people are able to know watu wako na uwezo wa kujua if you do one, two, three, you are able to rule over people ukifanya moja mbili una uwezo wa kutawala juu ya maisha ya watu not for them si kwa ajili yao wenyewe but for you and the devil lakini ni kwa ajili yako wewe na shetani so the will of god as no place kwa hivyo mapenzi ya Mungu hayana nafasi in such a kingdom katika ufalme kama huo so you keep on praying kwa hivyo unastahili una kuwa unaomba kila then you realize lakini unajua ya kwamba things are not happening unaelewa ya kwamba mambo hayafanyiki is it because god is not hearing prayer je ni kwa ajili ya kwamba Mungu asikii maombi no la god is hearing prayer Mungu anasikia maombi. But in the realm of men, lakini katika kuonekana kwa wanadamu, it is not Daniel in power. Si Daniel aliyekuwa. It is Nebuchadnezzar. Ni Nebuchadnezzar. It is not Joseph in power. Si Joseph aliyekuwa. It is Pharaoh in power. Ni Pharaoh anatawala. And when the people are not righteous rule, wakati ambao watu hawajataliwa kwa njia the za. people cry. Watu wanalia. But when the Russians reign, lakini wakati ambao eh, wateule wakitawala, people rejoice. Watu wanakuwa na furaha. Okay? So you begin to understand where the disconnect is. Kwa hivyo unaanza kuelewa mahali ambapo hakuna kuunganisha. And the church has been thinking, na kanisa imekuwa ikiwaza, that we can reign in the spiritual realm alone. Ya kwamba tunaweza tawala katika ulimwengu wa kiroho peke yake. When people begin to reign in the spiritual realm, wakati ambao watu wanaanza kutawala katika ufalme, they also begin to fix people. Wanaanza pia kuwaweka watu. Men in the kingdoms of men katika falme za wanadamu in the kingdoms of men katika falme za wanadamu said in the kingdoms of men nasema katika falme we need tunahitaji men from the spiritual realm of god watu kutoka katika ufalme wa kiroho into the kingdoms of men katika falme za wanadamu so that what the kingdom of god is saying ili kile ambacho falme wa mungu kinasema can also become kiweze kuwa what the kingdoms of men are receiving kile ambacho falme za wanadamu zinapokea and the kingdom of satan na ufalme wa shetani loses grip unapoteza unapoteza such kingdom katika ufalme wa kina hiyo